Hi everyone, I hope you're having a great day. I'm having a fab day, and if you've only just got up, I hope you have a fab day. This drawing, or this painting I did in Art Rage 6, and it's a study really. It's um, not a finished painting as such, uh, although it is finished, but it's a study of some trees, and I thought it might be worthwhile looking at just a very isolated uh, subject i.e. these couple of tree trunks and painting them uh, in real time so you see every single brush stroke and the old process of how I go about painting trees so let's just get straight into the painting so this is going to be a painting uh, of some trees and you can see in my reference image the view I'm using there and it's going to be in real time and hopefully from this you will get uh, an idea of how I go about tackling a subject like trees so I'm going to use the roller to um, crash in crash in the sky I need to move my cup of tea around and things this is the thing when I'm doing it live. Um, we are. Things don't run quite so smooth. So I'm just going to get the whole thing painted in uh, the sky, a nice blue, maybe a little bit lighter at the bottom. Just blend that in a bit. There we are. So that's the sort of background done. Now I'm looking at these little leaves and I'm thinking I'm going to go in with the darks and do them next. So I'm going to use just the regular oil brush, uh, the normal round. I'm not going to change any settings or anything. I'm going to go for a really dark olive green colour. There we go, make that brush a bit bigger. put some of these in working on the same layer here and I'm going to mix this color up a bit because it's looking at the minute you'll probably agree that it looks a little bit flat I might even put a little bit of depth on here And also, you know what? I don't like the um, filbert type brush shape. I prefer the square. That's it. I much prefer that. Having your reference image the same size as what you're painting, it does make it easy to um, position things. So I'm leaving lots of little blue highlights here and it takes so much longer when you're doing it in real time but you can see hopefully how much um, I'll see how much better or it's better to see the actual process and because when I'm doing it sort of speed it up it, some of these things get lost so thanks for everybody that commented on the channel saying they prefer the longer videos all of that's helped me out a lot it's given me new direction of um, where I'm going to go 
what format the videos are going to take and all of that so it was really useful I, I do appreciate it so much it, it helps me out a lot planning ahead and I'm having a lot of fun making these real video these real-time videos um, it's making me analyze the paintings more because um, I'm having to think what I'm doing so I can tell you and, and talk about it whereas normally I would just sort of go in and go on to automatic pilot really I suppose so that's the first sort of layer I'm just gonna make the brush a little bit smaller because I want some smaller um, leaves popping in See, this bit would probably get missed in, in a speeded up version. You wouldn't probably notice the fact that I've changed the brush size to put these smaller leaves in. So that's the, the first stage. Now the second stage, I'm going to go over this. I'm going to change the color up and make it, I'm going to bring it more blue. Push a bit bigger. And go over the same technique again. And it just breaks up the monotonous of this green. nearly there I've done this one a lot quicker I guess it's because I'm not putting on anything like as many brush strokes what I'm going to do now I'm going to paint the trees <clears throat> because when I put the lighter branches on and they start to they're going to overlap those uh, trees so I'm going to pick a creamy color yeah, that's nice. I keep moving the canvas by accident. So I'm just painting the, the side that's in highlight. Because this the, the shadows is what's going to give the curves to these trees. and I'm not bothering about them being too perfect that's not what it's all about I think if you was to worry painting a tree and getting every branch in the right place um, you would be there all day
There we are, that's the light bits done. <coughs> Approximately. Let's go in with a darker brown. This will do to start with. I could probably even go darker than this later. And hopefully these colours are going to blend. I've got it on um, auto clean. I'm just going to turn the auto clean off for a second and see if that blends better. Well, it does, but the problem is it's... It was um, picking up too much of the blue. So I'll put it back on auto clean, possibly in a second or two. I mean, I will switch auto clean off in a second or two. So hopefully you can see straight away that this is now uh, taking shape <clears throat> as a tree. Make it, make it a little bit thicker. Notice that the right side of this is sharp and then the left side gets blended. I could use a palette knife, I'm thinking, maybe possibly, to uh, get the sort of bark effect. I notice now that that light color needs to come over there quite a bit more. In fact, oh, there we go. in some of the smaller branches. So this, although it's a study, this is something that you'll see me do in paintings all the time where I'm pu putting trees in. So I thought I'd take it out of the the scene as it were and give you a, a better idea closer look view of how i did this so the question for today is um studies are they a good idea would you like to see more of them where i take a particular uh item or topic or something and look at it a lot closer than um doing a complete painting and again this doesn't mean i'm not going to do complete paintings of course i am but it might be a nice idea to supplement them with something like this where you can get a, a real close look at painting a particular subject in this case these uh, trees So there we go, it's beginning to look quite nice. I could put the odd highlight, some definitely some there. And that branch goes up there like that.
So I'm going to try the um, palette knife and I'll use the odd out smudge. And you can see by dragging it backwards and forwards. This canvas, by the way, is 3000 pixels by 4000. And I've decided that when working in Art Rage, so if you work within the 4000, 3000 parameters, you get a decent uh, effect. And then I can use um, some software to um, enlarge the image if I want a, a, a bigger image. Or I could record a script and replay that back in Art Rage. See, straight away, look, just by doing that with a palette knife, Going backwards and forwards, we're getting this bark effect. And, and notice this slightly curve, so the following the contours of the tree. And I could change the size of the palette knife as well to get some thinner ones, just to mix it up a bit. There we go. That looks very, I'm liking this because it looks really painterly to me. So, <clears throat> I think I'm going to put some darker branches in. So I'm going to go in with a really dark color. Back to my paintbrush. It's a little bit um, on the large sides now. I'm going to stop up in the depth a bit as well, I think. I want it to be blue, not green. So I'm just sort of popping these in, one or two of them, I'm looking where they are in the photo and putting them in, and others I'm just making up. I don't like that one, that's too, too thick. Right, I think that will probably do in the old branch department. So now we've got to look at the foreground leaves. We've got all the background leaves in, but we need the foreground ones. So, or the, I suppose the mid-tone ones really, not the real highlights. So we're going for the mid-greens. Um, let's pick a color that might do it. Yeah, let's try that. Cool. And I'm just going to go over put some of these in. So I'm still not into the brightest colors yet. And there's not many of these darker ones, but there is a there are a few. Let's put the in fact, you know what? I'm going to go for the um, thick gloss brush now for these. For these leaves. Let's get some texture on there. And I'm actually using, and I'm going to stick with it. I'm, I'm not using the square head brush. I'm using 
the more filbert type brush I guess and these leaves can overlap the branches so they're all going to start to fit I might need some more darker ones in there So you can see how I'm building it up in layers, but everything is on one layer. I'm not um, created any additional layers for this or anything. And I'm just pop plopping them in randomly look, all over the place different lengths, some are just little dots, some are uh, more like strokes right before I go in with the um, lightest lights now I want to um, just go back to the darks again just get some more darks down here I feel as though I missed a few out. Right, I think I'm now ready for the lightest light. So to me, it looks quite yellow. So I'm gonna go for a yellow green, sort of lime green, that's the one. And as soon as I start to put them in, look how it pops. Makes the whole thing really start to come together. The nice thing I like about this study, I'm going to be able to do it all in real time and it's not a really mega long video, but you still get to see everything. I'm just varying up the sizes with pressure, applying different pressure. Ah, I'm liking it, I'm liking it. Because I've painted the trees first, I 
can now apply the leaves over the top of them and then make this nice cover I suppose and, and I really want to fill in all of these little blue gaps that I've still got here because we can't see any of the sky I might pick up the dark again and add some darks this side of the tree is quite a lot darker Yeah, I'm going to go for um, a dark, dark blue and just go in, put a few more darks in. So although I've got this sort of thing where I put all the darks in first and there's nothing to say you can't go back in there, back to the darks. It's not, it doesn't have to be finished. little bit more busy around here just helps pick the side of that tree out more obscuring the branches as I'm going go yeah I like it let's get some in up here and I could go back to the lights again and nothing stopped me going back in and adding more lights And now the paint's getting thick. They're all starting to smudge together, which is great. I'm liking that. So just a few more. Oh, it's starting to smudge a little bit. So I'm just going to uh, go to instant dry. And that way it wants to be a bit brighter, actually. Oh, that's popping. Yeah. And I want a few highlights, just a few more highlights on the tree. So I'm going to go in with this instant dry, I think. Just in the odd place. There we go. The light makes all the difference, I think. I could have done this with uh, creating another layer, but I just think that um, using the instant dry is a nicer way because I, I can then blend the colors if I want. It 
it's just where little bits of light find its way through the all the leaves and dapples the tree that's it that's finished i believe it is that is a study in um trees just got to sign it let's sign it let's do it in the black oh the dark blue there we go so please let me know if you want me to do more studies and looking at uh, things in much closer detail uh, like this it feels a lot more intimate um, I've really enjoyed doing it so I'd, I'd love to know um, if you'd like to see more of these and thanks for joining me and staying with me right till the very end as I still fiddle about with this and just put a few little bits of yellow Um, it's much appreciated if you like the video uh, please give me a thumbs up and share it with all your friends all of that helps out and if you're new to the channel please consider subscribing because I have lots of videos like this and I would love to be sharing them with you so hopefully I will see you all in the next one bye